Sister taken prisoner. Inga was just taken by Jarl Bresig of Yilland. Doll. Oh. <laughs> Did I get a higher level of crown authority? No, I couldn't for... Oh, now I can. So this will cost me a bunch of prestige. But we absolutely need to do this. And we can't do this one until 9-11. Either of these take attrition, so let's go for Stafford, take out the forts. Trutland won against Duke Ludwig. Helgi lost against High Chieftain Risto. Fine. And all of my advisors are doing jobs which are going to take quite a long time. Roggenwald had died. You were my chancellor. Oh man, the quality of my people has really gone down since Stein's day. I guess Anlaufer Sturki? Need to get more prestige. I believe the higher your prestige, the higher the quality of people joining you. But we could really do with getting another batch of champions. In fact, there are other people that we can bring in. Oh, we could raise a runestone. And you know what? We have loads of money, so runestone would be a great idea. Let's do it. My father, Jarl Stein, has passed away. I will raise a runestone to honour his life and bring fame to all who bear the name Maudling. Future generations will never forget the greatness of Jarl Stein Skullison of Holland. Chieftain of uh, Holland gains runestone. I gain 100 piety. And every vassal of my faith gains opinion. We could also undertake a pilgrim... Oh, hang on. Am I afraid of leading this? Me! I'm leading this! I think next time we have a bit of downtime we'll go on a um, pilgrimage. Although apparently pilgrimages can really take a long time. Faction created against us, the Dutch Catholic Populists. What is this, Kaiserreich? Populists? Their military power, however, is garbage. It's garbage. Unified Ireland, which definitely makes me an expert now, so I'll be answering any questions as long as it's only about right-clicking my larger army and the other guy until I take their stuff. <laughs> the day CK3 drops, the area you live in has an internet outage. Well, imagine having an exclusive preview for one day and then having a power cut. So the 12-hour stream you were planning to do became a 4-hour stream. Mayor Dark has been swayed, so I think we need to start swaying some other people now. Because, yeah, Dag's really quite pleased with us. Our Marshal, however, not so much. So let's start working on him. We're on the outskirts of Nottingham now. Efficient taxation. I agree. I'm taking your money very efficiently. Hehehehe. <laughs> 
Everyone else is playing island because it's good for noobs. I'm playing there because I want to play my hometown. I mean, I will admit that my being Dutch definitely entered into the decision to go after the Netherlands, so... I get that. How full am I? 124. We can still carry a fair amount more. Administration fails. Mismanaged population, West Friesland. That's not very good. Oh, hey, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay is the name for Lincoln. Interesting. Lindsay is my Scottish heritage. Um, right, let's move on to Leicester. Leicester's not worth a huge amount. Ooh, but Warwick is. Let's go and burn Melton. Hi, Chief Tessaletta gained pregnant. But I'm off on campaign. Run as Harold Fairhair is going as good as any CK2 run would go. Harold died at the age of 27 after being maimed a guy 18 levels of combat prowess down. And his child died at the age of 23 to leprosy. Run's going rather good so far, I have to say. That does sound fairly typical for some CK2 runs. That's for sure. Am I excited for the Creator Coliseum tomorrow? That was today, and it didn't happen because the game wouldn't work. Got your dates a bit mixed up there, I think, Charles. Oh, I'm full. Time to head home. Cool. So we'll regain that prestige. We are about to finish our theology focus. Which is fine. Still a long way away from Illustrious though. It's going to take some doing to get that. Let's go speed 4 for a bit. Just while we're heading home and letting time pass. I'm very disappointed, Mordred. No creator Coliseum means I actually had to work at your job. <gasps> Awful. Inga died. I gained 25 stress. Raid loot delivered. Lovely. And we got a new lifestyle. I think I'd like to become a prophet. So monthly piety per night goes up. So we're now gaining 2.78 a month. And also reforms are now half price. So much cheaper. Wait, this has changed. We're adaptive now. This used to be um, human sacrifice. County conversion resistance plus 30%. Infidel vassals are now less likely to join independence and populist factions. All Ersterons. Opinion of different faith liege plus 15. Different faith liege opinion plus 15. Different faith popular opinion. Minus 25. I didn't change it. I couldn't. Oh, is this just my planning to reform? That's just my planning to reform. It just saved that from last time. Hasn't actually changed it. Yeah. That's what it currently is. That's what I'm saying. This is what I would like it to look like. And it's just saving that. Alright, so at some point we are going to need to go through these and pick exactly which tenants we want. I don't want to change it too much because that will increase the cost. And then also if we want to change any of the doctrines...
But I need to continue getting... Actually, you may as well disband now. Regain your strength. Hjalmar was swayed. Good stuff. And then next up we can get Radiant. Defender of the Faith. And then Theologian. And then after that we might switch to Marshall. Yeah, probably. What are my traits? Ambitious, trusting, and just. The fragile berserker. We have another son. Okay, so this is going to be named... Silver Knight. May you grow up to be strong and wise, Silver Knight. Furthermore, you will need a guardian. You are delicate. You're not just fragile, you're delicate. Oh, what is my bloodline like? So delicate is minus two prowess. So basically anything that's not fighting. And you also have a minor health penalty. I think delicate's slightly better than frail. Yeah, Delica is the not-as-bad version of Frail. Oh yeah, and we can do our pilgrimage too, that's true. So I think that this is going to be another learning character. Ingbjorg would probably be a pretty good one for you. So you go ahead and look after him. At least Odious doesn't have that, and he is pensive, so stewarding learning. Yeah, that's fine. You are getting a diplomatic education. And yes, diplomacy is definitely the thing that you want. I don't think we have anyone that's like a masterminder. No, we definitely don't. Add diplomacy. So be it. We'll need to find a new place to raid. I mean, we could potentially go after Lotharingia. France is definitely way too strong. Asturias could be good. The Terror from Amsterdam. For years, I've swept out on devastating raids, bringing the full fury of Odin to a trembling world. For surely, if he disapproved, he would have struck me down by now. I'm now a Viking. Plus two Marshall, plus three Prowess, plus point three Prestige Month. And everybody likes me more. I love that I'm now the frail Viking Berserker. Arrgh! Innkeeper will kill you all! Just be careful when you're doing it, please. Child Berserker Viking. Go slap the Pope. I suspect that the Pope probably has a fairly big army. Actually, not as many as I thought they would. How much is your land worth? 39? 47? 32? 33? Yeah, okay, actually going after the papacy would be a really good idea. Um, first of all, though, I was talking about going on a pilgrimage. And I think that is what I'm going to do now. Choose a destination amongst the faith's holy sites. The further you travel, the more piety you'll gain. Longer journeys are more expensive with a minimum cost of 50. Prepare for the journey. Ersteru Pilgrimage. Time for me to set out on the journey to one of the holy places, but which one? Sigtuna will cost a hundred. Roskilde will cost a hundred. Brunswick would cost fifty, it's short. The other one would be Trondelag. I would say that Roskilde... No. 
Sick tuna. That's the one I know planned. That's the one furthest away from me. We'll choose that. It'll cost me 100 ducats. That's a paltry sum. As I prepare for my journey, I know I will travel safely under the protection of the gods. While I go with the old father, my realm must wait however long I am gone. And Kalmar likes us more. Okay, so all of my council is now positive. The one who's least positive is actually the wife. Um, should probably do something about that at some point, maybe, possibly. And we'll max out our strength next month. Because it is kind of expensive and prestige doing this, so I've basically just got to keep these raids going. I wake to the noise of chaos in the camp, but it only takes me a few moments to realize what is happening. We're under attack! Bandits are swarming our tents and wagons while our guards do what they can to resist. Where's my sword? I will drive these dogs away! Has to be somewhere around here I can hide. Stop this madness! I'll pay you whatever you want. Where's my sword? I was wounded. Fantastic! Oh, no, we got over it. It's <laughs> but a scratch. Lost the trait wounded, gained trait novice physician. Oh, Ingbjorg actually had to heal somebody, so she got a bit better at healing. Cool. Good thing I was travelling with my physician, apparently. On a pilgrimage, Mordred, not to Spain. I'm not a Catholic. I need to go to the Viking uh, pilgrimage sites. Okay, my armies are resolved. So we're going to raise all those raiders. Let you raise to the maximum number. And now I can't command because I ain't there. So Mayor Dag is going to be in charge. And we are not going to go to Wessex, because that would be silly. Not going to go to Ulba. I think I might just go raid my neighbours. Because they're not sharing very well. At all. And also Lotharingia's army right now is kind of small. I mean, I have so many men-at-arms, I think I'd put up a good fight. The pilgrimage, the arrival, I am finally here, body and soul, at the great temple of Sigtuna. As the Hofgodai offer me a blessing, I reflect on everything that has had to happen for the gods to bring me here at this moment in time. I have walked the holy path. I gained 375 piety. I become a pilgrim. And because we are ancestor worshippers, I gain in the footsteps of my forebears. Close family opinion plus 10. And yeah, being a pilgrim increases my monthly piety by plus 10%, and everyone else that's Ursteru really likes that. Sweet. 1,000 piety, and we're gaining three a month. Excellent. Now I just need to get home again. Important question, is there a ledger in the game? There... Isn't. Oh, the outliner. Ah. No. I mean, there are searches. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Character, title, lineage, capital. No. No ledger. The return. My journey has been a long one, but I've finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the Godai and the Huff Godai treat me. I've undergone the journey of a holy man, and they insist it has changed something about me, whether I see it myself or not. It's good to be home. Yes, it is, because it means I can lead my armies again. Alright, not going to bother with you, not going to bother with you, not going to bother with you. I am going to bother with you. 
Because that's a lot of money. Home for it. Gained 20 opinion. My niece has been taken prisoner. Siege of Frizzo. Where's Frizzo? Oh. Oh! Interesting. Ching. Move over here, get some more money. And then raid this stuff as well. That's not an army. Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. My daughter, Rikisa, is more likely to receive a good education due to the high chief test of the letter's tutelage. Cool. Speaking of which, can I change your names? No. Because they were named before I took over. Like your face looks like that man, of a man who is frail. Please don't approach me too fast. You might knock me over. A ledger in 902 by Vikings. What do you take us for, Marshal? By Zantines. I mean, we are Varangians. I don't know if Torbjorn's still alive. He might be. No, he's dead. When can I raise the next set of champions? Five years time. Ugh. So far away. See you, Valiant. No, we're going to sail, and then we're going to raid that. Meanwhile, the councillor's work here is working quite nicely. I'm surprised that it took us so little time to culture convert and so much time to convert. I guess because people held more closely to faith at this point in history than to culture. Level of Splendor has increased. Maudling Dynasty is now known far and wide. So we are now insignificant. Children are born with 200 prestige. Marrying into this dynasty gives an extra 100 prestige. Rulers get a maximum of plus 15 long reign opinion. And then once we hit Noteworthy. Ah, that goes up even more. Now, does that give me the ability... Change my legacy. No, that's still kind of slow. We need renown for legacies. Which is diff. Oh no, that is renown. So we're like halfway to our first legacy. Which, considering we've been going for what, 40 years, I guess is alright. We will lose a hundred men going there. But money is money. And I like money. So I will take their money. All of the territories around here are just not worth anything. I know you are. Go back to sea and walk here. Koblenz. Oh yeah, and at some point we should probably raid this bit. Go after Aachen. I'm excited to check it out later. Been a long time since I played CK2. This definitely compares favorably to CK2. As I've said before, this is... Imagine Crusader Kings 2 with Old Gods. That's where CK3 is right now. And that was in a good place. And considering this is a new release with that strength of a game, it's a good release.
Um, 14, 14. We would take attrition if we go there, but that's because it's in Weisbaden. Neighboring ruler won a war. King Helgi won against Jarl Seder of Lothian. Okay. We'll go ahead and loot Bopard and then we'll head over to Weisbaden. Weisbaden. Sway, pushing our luck. I finished reading the latest message from my marshal Hjalmar with a smile. He seems to have warned to me at last. While this is a success, I'm tempted to use this opportunity to try and get even closer. Time to put my diplomatic skills to the test. We have terrible diplomatic skills. Allow Halfilder to work this, or victory is enough. I mean, frankly, we all suck at diplomacy, so I'm going to say good enough in case we make things worse. And we're going to start going after Unlaufer now. Okay, Lotharingia's got a really big army now, which is a little bit concerning. Oh, but you're fighting Upper Silesia at the moment. So you're probably a little bit distracted with that. I hope. Probably. That castle seems to be... Oh no, that's that's a fortified Bishforic. I'm hoping it's got some money then. Six targets! The wealth must be shared at Axe Point. Just good, be Duke Maslow, that's nice, I'm sure. TK3 is off to an amazing start, sure lots of features are lacking for now, multiplayer did not work thanks to the absolute massive floodgate of 90,000 plus people storming in. Paradox just wasn't prepared, I have high hopes for CK3. I mean, CK2 was groundbreaking for them, and the same guy who did CK2, Henrik Varius, is doing TK3 as well. So it was already in very safe hands. Is the tutorial any good? Yes, oh dear. We're about to get crushed. And I'm not very quick. We're stuck here for five days. I'm... Maybe we can beat that? If I wasn't in command? <laughs> Dag, take over! So we're on a minus 12. They... Wow, bloody hell. They have a 33 command bonus. Hmm. Damage is increased by 24%. We have seven champions, so they're 11. I do have a lot more men at arms than they do. Okay, so this display is clearly just not working because I have 500 bowmen. This is only showing 100. Oh, but here it is showing the right number. Yeah, 500. So I have 500 of those, 100 of those, 500 of those. They have 200. And 200. So their skirmishes are being countered by my archers. Their horsemen are not being countered. Their horsemen are decreasing the strength of my archers. And my light infantry also being decreased. But because we have so many, the decreases are fairly minimal. No, we've lost all of our stuff from that. Fucker. Yep, they stole all 136 ducats that we'd looted. Damn it. 